We now start the press conference of the Prime Minister Suga. First, the Prime Minister will make a statement. Prime Minister, please. Earlier today, we held the novel coronavirus response headquarters meeting, Tokyo, Hokkaido, Aichi, Kyoto, Hyogo, Osaka, Okayama, Hiroshima, and the Fukuoka prefectures. As of June 20th, state of emergency will be lifted. For Okinawa prefecture, up until July 11th, the state of emergency will be extended. And also, for priority measures, Hokkaido, Tokyo, Aichi, Kyoto, Osaka, Hyogo, and Fukuoka prefectures will newly added for priority measures. The period is up until July 11th. For Saitama, Chiba, and Kanagawa prefectures, until July 11th, the priority measures will be extended. Gifu and Mie prefectures, it will, the priority measures will end as of June 20th. Nationwide, new infection cases since mid-May, we see declining trend in most of prefectures. New infection cases are below stage four. The nationwide critically ill patients are also decreasing and the hospital bed situations are improving steadily. However, in some regions, the new cases, we see the declining rate is stopping and because of the new variants, the rate of infection may proceed in accelerated pace that is being pointed out. Based on that situation in going forward, what we need to be vigilant is make sure that we will not make the big rebounds. What is important is stay vigilant and continuing on the countermeasures in a number of new cases need to be uh, curtailed as much as possible and at the same time, earliest possible. For those who wants to be vaccinated, should be vaccinated so that medical capacity uh, can be maintained, then there will be no medical collapse. For seven prefectures, including Hokkaido, three weeks of priority measures will be implemented and the areas we continue to see the new case uh, uh, above to stage four in Okinawa, stage state of emergency will be extended to many people. Uh, we continue to ask uh, to stay with the restrictions and uh, it is uh, very regrettable that we have to ask that, but in order to restore the safe lives, I sincerely ask for your understanding and cooperation. And this time, the areas uh, with extended the state of emergency, we will continue the current measures. And for priority measures, prefectures, the restaurants and bars uh, will continue to be the focus uh, counter measures and up until 8 p.m. will be the business hours we request uh, to those operators and uh, alcohol drinks. Thorough counter measures uh, when the operators practice uh, the thorough counter measures, uh, it can be served until a certain hours, but the based on the prefectural conditions, we uh, it is possible uh, to request a stop serving of alcohol and uh, so that we will take effective measures. Let me talk about athletic events and sports events and put restrictions on number of spectators during the priority measures in place like we have done. We set the limit at 5,000 people in a game. Then for one month to come, we like to ask for very strict restrictions 
on the number of spectators would put the cap on 10,000. That's a provisional measure for one month. We'd like to work out countermeasures with a high sense of urgency. Any resurgence of infection COVID-19 has negative impact on medical systems and services. The uniform, the suspension of the provision of the alcoholic drinks, and even stricter the restrictions on various events. Government is set to take very flexible measures whenever unexpected happens. To people in Japan, we ask them to wear masks and avoid three Cs and they wash their hands. Those basic uh, countermeasures against infection that should be observed by the people in Japan. When you talk to people, I'd like to ask you or them to wear masks. That's my sincere request to the people in Japan. Vaccination for the past seven days. 7.3 million vaccinations were done, and over 1 million vaccines a day. Then vaccinations are starting to sink. The total the vaccinations is the 27, 27 million the vaccines. Over 20 million people have been vaccinated at least once. We enjoy support from medical professionals and the people of the local government. I send my special thanks to the commitment made by those stakeholders. I attended a G7 meeting in the UK. I had various exchange of opinions, information with the leaders of other nations on COVID-19 infection. All of the leaders are suffering to strike good balance between economic activities and COVID-19, the infection. Vaccinations are gaining momentum. They told me that the situation now is much better than it was at the end of this month. 40 million vaccinations will be done in all the municipalities by the end of July. All the people, elderly people in Japan, then will be vaccinated twice if they would like to be vaccinated. That's a report I have received so that we can prevent the critical conditions, including the critical patients among the elderly people, there is expectation that we can, we can reduce the burden on medical systems. Workplace vaccinations and college and the vaccination are going to start in Fusing on 21st this month. Already, elderly people and medical professionals percentage among the new infections are going down. Yesterday, the new infections in Tokyo, 501 infections happened in Tokyo. Of them, people over 65 years old, and 33 people are aged 65 or more. People in the 20s and 30s, 240 of them, accounting for more than 50% of new infections in Tokyo. We have to pay attention to infection expansions among young people in Japan, including young people and older people who want to be vaccinated, will be vaccinated. The government is going to go flat out to give vaccines to all the people in Japan. We closed the ordinary diet session yesterday. The diet session that was ended started in the thick of COVID-19, in, in the thick of state of emergency. We spent 150 days fighting against the COVID-19 infections. We enjoyed support from the ruling parties and opposition parties. Then we had the early enactment of the COVID-19 the Special Act. Government has been successful in taking out flexible countermeasures against COVID-19. Protection of the business and employment we have to support people in dire straits. The third supplementary budget was enacted on the, uh, the subsidies for bars and restaurants. And then I have received many complaints that those uh, sub and the subsidies are coming quite late. We are liaising with the local governments to give immediate uh, extension of those financial support to bars and restaurant owners. Those measures get the first priority. There has been the pending issues indeed. Then 
we have realized the various uh, the reforms in the current diet session. Digital agency is going to be launched the September the 1st. We are going to eliminate governmental silos to carry out the drastic uh, measures so that there will be no difference between the rural cities and the major cities when it comes to the public services. We ask them to take reforms and the 35 people student and the reform for the first time in 45 years. Then fatality uh, support uh, started in January by expanding financial support. In April next year, and fatality treatment will be covered by the insurance the scheme to reduce the burden on young people. The elder people with a certain amount of income will pay 20% of medical fees. Then we established, enacted the revised Health Insurance Act. We have to create a social security system so that to cover all the generations in Japan, then we'll step forward and reform the medical system in Japan. And important land use uh, restrictions and uh, investigation law has also been approved. Many bills and for budget approval. Uh, for those who supported us, I sincerely appreciate your support. On a diplomatic front, novel coronavirus, uh, uh, climate change, uh, economic reform, and also competition versus the author authoritarianism, we are facing various challenges. And uh, uh, we facilitate the unity of the global community. And uh, uh, we are going to continue to lead uh, the, new, uh, the international orders in the Indo-Pacific. We take a leadership uh, for the free and open Indo-Pacific in order to realize free and open in the Pacific, uh, we have been strategically developing. And uh, for the first time in uh, March, the uh, US and uh, Japan agreement, and in uh, April, after the launch of a Biden administration, I was a uh, first uh, the uh, summit leader uh, to visit. And we have been able to uh, place our, um, uh, show our presence in a global arena and in a recent G7, free democracy and human rights and a rule of law, these universal values uh, as a one uh, of the, the uh, universal uh, values uh, as a team and uh, through the candid exchange of opinions, uh, we were, I was able to confirm uh, the confirmed uh, this, uh, type, uh, this, uh, these values with the summit leaders. And uh, I was able to reflect our statement uh, in a G7 for Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. The support uh, from G7 was expressed and uh, in a, a summit statement, it was uh, written on a summit statement. Four billion people around the world uh, is said to watch uh, the games on the TV and our reconstruction and recovery from East uh, Great Earthquake, uh, we can show that uh, to the global uh, society and uh, it will convey hope uh, to uh, people and children. And uh, Tokyo, the, for those, the Paralympic, uh, Paralympic, the name of Paralympics used for the first time, and it gave um, the hope and uh, uh, hope and dream uh, to those with uh, disabilities, and uh, those uh, with or without the disabilities, or the uh, elderly and uh, young people support each other in order to realize a society with a harmony, the barrier-free system in the society, uh, we would like to uh, concretely convey uh, that value uh, through the games, the humans face this uh, great hardship of uh, COVID-19. Uh, we need to unite. And uh, with an effort and wisdom, we overcome this difficulty. And uh, this is what we would like to uh, send out as a message uh, from Japan to uh, 
the global society. And the Tokyo Games will be held safe and secure manner and uh, contain the infection, uh, spread of infection in uh, domestic uh, society. That is what we need to realize that to those, to every one of you through the uh, TV and so forth. We would like uh, you to watch the games and athletes. And tomorrow, for the first time uh, in my administration, uh, we will uh, approve the economic and the fiscal policy, uh, reform policy. And uh, we are going to quickly realize the society uh, for everyone and uh, secure the medical capacity and uh, treatment, uh, medical treatment drugs and uh, vaccines, uh, those framework to facilitate, uh, to enable the medical treatments and uh, uh, therapeutic drugs and the uh, digital and uh, but, uh, revitalized uh, regional econ economy and society. Uh, with a sense of speed, uh, we are going to uh, uh, promote the reform and the Senkaku fronts and uh, Japanese air and sea is uh, most challenged and uh, stressed and uh, it is, we are in an unprecedented situation. We have to strengthen the, the, our preparedness and to, to protect uh, Japan territorial waters and area space. At the start of the diet session that ended, I said we have to regain the trust from the people. I said the government is going to realize the hopes of the people in Japan. Countermeasures against infection, then the vaccines against COVID-19, then I we try to realize the two things so that the Japanese people can get the safety in their life as soon as possible. We put the end to the responses answers to long stand pending issues. We create the Japan, the society in the aftermath of COVID-19, then we can create the hopes. This is a mission of the government cabinet working for the people in Japan. And I give my utmost to those responsibilities. I'd like to ask for your understanding support for what the government is going to do from now on. Thank you. We'd like to take questions from the press. Then Dr. Ami, then please proceed to your place. Depending on the situation, then Dr. Ami will come in to respond to questions. In case your name is called, then please stand up to the mic and please state your name and affiliation. Please ask one question at one time. First, I'd like to take questions from coordinators. Mr. Shim is from Tokyo Shimbun. Please go ahead. Tokyo Shimbun, Chunichi Shimbun, I am Shimizu. Tokyo Olympic Paralympic Games, I have a question on the risk of holding the games. You have been saying that the Tokyo Games uh, will be held safe and secure manner. However, regarding the infection risk associated with the games has not been explained, not only athletes and stakeholder, uh, but how about the risk of uh, uh, increasing a uh, movement of people in Japan uh, without showing the grounds of a safe and secure manner or environment? Uh, people will not be convinced. So apart uh, from the message of a safe and secure games, as the government who, who is an accountable uh, for the life of the people, uh, please show us uh, your recognition and evaluation of risk. In order to realize the safe and secure games, we take a concrete countermeasures to prevent the infection. And for that, uh, we listen to the opinions of the experts and the taking measures for Tokyo Games. From overseas, we receive athletes and uh, stakeholders. Make sure that, that they will not increase the infection in, Jap in Japan. Those numbers are cut to uh, less than half. And we are restricting uh, their activities so that, that they will not mingle uh, with Japanese people. And for Japan, inside Japan, movement of people, in order not to increase the movement of, of people in a rapid manner, for the cap, 
we will continue to control the movement of people even after the state of emergency and based uh, uh, based on the basic policies, uh, it will be controlled. And for Tokyo Games, many people will watch the games uh, at home, at, on TV. But when they come to venue, make sure they wear game, uh, they wear masks, and that they will not shout in venues. And also go directly uh, from home and then go back uh, to home uh, directly. And the guidelines are being established. But, and for J-League, to the spectator, to audience, uh, to, as much as possible, the uh, coming directly from home and going back directly to home, and also staggered on appearance uh, to the games, uh, to the venue is requested. And vaccination is uh, taking place right now for starting with the elderies. And the critical patients, we will uh, uh, see a reduction of a critical patients, number of a critical patients, and that will uh, give a relief to medical capacity. Mr. Toshiba from Kyoto, um, please go ahead. This is Toshiba from Kyoto. Can I ask you a question on the government countermeasures against COVID-19? Mr. Prime Minister, a state of emergency was issued in 10 prefectures, but it will be extended only in Okinawa prefecture. Uh, seven prefectures will be placed under priority measures. That's a decision um, you have made. The opening ceremony of Tokyo Olympic Games is coming around the corner in about a month. Then, then would you please share with, uh, with us your views on the exit strategy of the state of emergency and priority measures? The state of emergency is going to be lifted in many prefectures, but there are concerns about the impact of COVID-19, the variants. The bars and restaurants uh, will be asked to close at 8 o'clock. The countermeasures against the infection will be in place for the time being. At the same time, vaccination is going to proceed. The vaccination is quite effective and uh, to prevent the, the infections than critical conditions. So we believe that the medical the systems will be under less strain. Thanks to uh, efforts made by medical experts, vaccination is go proceeding the faster than expected. I said just now, for the past seven days, there are 7.3 million vaccines. And that means the one million vaccines a day, and it's over one million vaccines a day. For elderly people, the vaccinations for elderly people will be completed by the end of July. I made a commitment to make it happen. The MIC to all the local governments in Japan, such a direction, um, instruction is given from the MIC to the local governments according to the, the, the report. Starting 21st, workplace and the college vaccinations are going to start on 21st this month. People other than elderly people, as I said, uh, we have a surge in the infections among the young people in Japan, and we have to take care of them. Countermeasures of this kind and vaccination, that we have a two-front strategy proceeded by the government. And that we would like to decide what that we're going to do for the state of emergency and priority measures. I would like to make a judgment uh, looking at the infections taking place in Japan. Then I would like to invite uh, other media. Uh, please raise your hand if you'd like to ask questions to the Prime Minister. Nakanishi-san from GG Plus, please. Did you press Nakaishi regarding cabinet reform in order to bolster the administration up until the dissolution of the lower house? Do you have a, a plan to conduct a cabinet reform or do you uh, plan to maintain the current cabinet? I myself have been saying many times the novel coronavirus countermeasures.
uh, we continue to make an all-out effort in order to protect people's lives and health. Uh, that is, an, uh, in the we put the maximum effort as a cabinet and diplomacy and security and economy. On these fronts, we look at comprehensively and work on these agendas. Up until fall, at some point, the dissolution and the general re election is necessary. Therefore, uh, we consider various situations. And I will make a solid uh, judgment. OK. Uh, then the Ishikawa from Kanagawa Shimbun, please go ahead. This is Ishikawa from Kanagawa Shimbun. Can I ask you a question? Then, together with COVID-19 countermeasures, the government is spending money, but the financial sources uh, have to be under discussion. In the diet, you said the government is going to aim at the fiscal consolidation. The creation of employment and the, the increase in revenues are something indispensable. Then, what's your view on the burden on people in Japan, including the consumption tax? Uh, your uh, district, the Kana uh, Kanaga Prefecture and the Akita Prefecture, where you're from, what kind of initiative do you believe necessary to strengthen those regions? The integrated resort, including casino, is one of the initiatives to give strength to those regional the parts of Japan. Um, basic, there are some basic ideas on the economic policies of Japan for government. The economy comes first and then comes before the, the fiscal uh, situation of the government. We have to put the lid on COVID-19 infections and then we lack the head for growth and to recover the Japanese economy. That's our, uh, the stance of the Japanese government. Fiscal consolidation stays on the top of government's agenda. Then we will continue our efforts and to carry out the fiscal reforms. Enhancement of regional economy to increase the income, then to activate the Japanese economy. I believe the regional economies are quite important to make it happen. In various uh, regions in Japan, then promotion and export of farming products and tourism industry promotion. When I was chief cabinet secretary, and I worked very hard on those agenda. Together with that, carbon neutral is another important policy for the Japanese government, such as the offshore wind power, wind power generation, renewable energies. It started in the coastal regions of Akita Prefecture a few years ago. That's a fact. Anyway, anyway when we communicate to uh, the population uh, going out and to the other nations, but uh, we have to uh, prop up the economy of Japan, given the current backdrop. On inter integrated results, in terms of uh, tur tourism, uh, based on we are making arrangements based on the IR Development Act. Together with those measures, as I just said, as I said just now, in the diet session, we uh, we uh, step forward in the reform of social security systems. Elderly people with certain incomes uh, will pay 20% of total medical fees, and it was a long um, pending issue indeed. But the law was enacted in the last diet session. The, the grants are given to elderly people, and those grants are paid by young people. That's not the way we should see. Even elderly people have some money, and they are wealthy to an extent, then they are asked to pay the part of their medical fees. We have to have a sustainable social security system, and those measures must proceed to make those things a reality. Yamamoto-san from Bunka Hoso, please. Bunka Hoso, I'm Yamamoto. I have a question on vaccines. Earlier you said in a one week exceeded uh, 7.3 million vaccines, and uh, you said uh, you've achieved uh, over 1 million uh, vaccines per day, and including workplaces and uh, uh, young people. You plan to accelerate the vaccines of uh, Japanese people, you may already see 
50% of Japanese people being vaccinated in the horizon. When do you see is a timeline? And for Indian strain, there is a concern, but that if we realize 50% of a population being vaccinated, now there are a lot of restrictions, but the, what are the, the uh, lights of hope uh, we start to see for vaccines with all people involved? Uh, we are getting strong cooperation and uh, we are promoting this in accelerated pace in a recent one week, 7.3 million uh, vaccines exceeding 1 million vaccines per day. Up until yesterday, 27 million, uh, it, it exceeded 27 million. The timing that the people who want to be vaccinated to be vaccinated. I don't have a concrete number right now, but the, with the current pace, if we continue the acceleration, end of this month, we will exceed 40 million by end of July. For those, uh, for elderly who want to be vaccinated, we'll complete the two, uh, two vaccines from 21st. The universities and uh, workplaces uh, with the office uh, practitioners, the workplace practi practitioners, the vaccination will start. It will start. 3,123 venues or locations. Uh, those are the, the counts uh, that the, we've uh, compiled so far in terms of ap application. The onset of uh, symptom and also prevention of aggravation uh, is uh, expected from the uh, global experience. And with the advancement of uh, vaccinations uh, with the elderly people, we can greatly relieve uh, the burden on the medical capacity and uh, with the vaccination pro promote it, uh, we can finally go out and uh, have a meal together. And uh, we see those scenes uh, out of Japan. And I really wish, hoping that uh, we can realize uh, that uh, type of uh, daily life to be restored in Japan as soon as possible. Do you have any comment to add, Dr. Omi? With the advancement of vaccinations in Japan, as the Prime Minister said, number of critical patients will reduce greatly. And for those who want to be vaccinated, the majority of people get vaccinated. Last year, in February or March, what we had in mind about the coronavirus, people's anxiety and the concerns, that will greatly change, I think. So in that sense, when that many people get vaccinated, it will become easier uh, to take countermeasures and uh, we see more effectiveness in uh, taking countermeasures. But not all the people will be vaccinated in terms of uh, effectiveness of the vaccine, it is not 100%. But sense of security will be very different from the past. But if when many people get vaccinated, can we let our guard off? Uh, not yet. That's what I would say. As many people get vaccinated, what we feel about the COVID-19 and what we think of COVID-19 uh, will be different, but letting the entire guard off, uh, that is a bit too early to do so. So not removing the mask immediately for the time being, uh, we will keep a mask on, but uh, with the advancement of uh, vaccinations, we will feel and think very differently. That's what I think. Um, Mr. Otani from NHK, please go ahead. Otani um, from NHK can ask a question about general election dissolution of the lower house. Next month, Tokyo Olympic Paralympic Games are coming to Tokyo. In the meantime, the, in the countermeasures as against COVID-19, as you said, that it's time um, then for us to uh, care about the rebound, the resurgence of COVID-19. But general election, you said general election can happen um, to 
or term, then do you, do you have an idea that the general election will be held after Olympic and Paralympic Games are held? First, it's quite important for the government to work flat out against the COVID-19 infections. My term then will come to an end this autumn. Then sometime in between, I have to call for a general election. I have to make a judgment to call for a general election. That's what I have to do. First off, when we try to cover all the bases in combating against COVID-19, then I think something can be seen by myself. So based on that backdrop, I'd like to make a judgment on the timing of a general election. Oshino from Asahi Shimbun. You remarked on the infection countermeasures of uh, Tokyo Games. By doing, uh, taking the countermeasures, uh, to what extent uh, the infection risks can be reduced? And my question to Dr. Omi. The redecoration of a state of emergency, uh, to what extent can it be prevented? May I answer first? As I said, first, the visitors uh, we receive, the athletes and the stakeholders to Japan, the PCR test will be conducted and the vaccine, uh, they will get vaccined, vaccinated. And for uh, media staffs and the press, they uh, will be segregated and uh, they will uh, be transported and uh, that scheme is ensured and movement of people for example even after lifting of priority measures a certain and a strict management of a number of people and a flow of people Talk TMG and the organizing committee, those five parties, the government and the IOC and the IPC, these five parties, the same type of uh, measures we are implementing in Japan. Thus, and uh, that meeting uh, will be held. So I believe the same applies uh, to the games uh, scenes and uh, uh, situation in Japan and the J League and J League soccer and the professional baseball games. Uh, we are uh, setting uh, some capacities and uh, there's no cluster infections on those sports events. So we, we refer to those cases and make sure we take a concrete measures in the Tokyo Games and the vaccinations. On plan, the vaccines are making progress on plan. And as I said yesterday in Tokyo, people about 65 years old and above, it was only 33 people. Uh, all 501 infections yesterday, it, they're a very small number for elderly. And uh, we want to uh, further accelerate uh, this momentum so that uh, further risk can be mitigated. Uh, and for the priority measures, Uh, your question on priority measures and how we reduce the risk. What's important? There are factors uh, that can uh, steer uh, the rebound in Tokyo. As you know, uh, it still uh, plateaus and the increase of uh, movement of people, it's been consistently increasing and we have a, a week on week Week on week co uh, comparison, it is practically the same as effective reproductions. And it did go down, but uh, now it is uh, uh, getting closer to one. And summer holiday, holidays and vacations, uh, the 
based on their experience, it can increase the uh, increase and also the variants, the Delta strains. Considering these factors, declining factors, decreasing factors is the vaccine, but the increasing factors, there are a number of increasing factors. So in going forward, how can we prevent the rebound? That is very important. First, with central government and the local government working together to uh, make a faster progress on the vaccines, it's really the top priority, first and foremost. So increasing the vaccination ratio and at the same time, the vaccine channels, uh, we are getting multiple channels of vaccines. The workplaces and universities and schools, and also the venues, uh, we tend to see higher ratio of clusters. We need to be strategically uh, vaccinate those areas and also conduct a test at, in parallel with the vaccination strategy. In the subcommittee, we agreed vaccine is, is the the paramount of the technology and science and other technology and science, for example, usage of a QR codes or usage of ICT and to expedite the epidemiological studies and the sewage research or sewage investigation and the restaurants and bars. The business operators are struggling the infection countermeasures, when they are taking thorough measures, they need to be rewarded. So CO2 monitoring and uh, ensuring enough distance uh, between uh, customers. We should certify those restaurants and bars so that they will be rewarded. So the vaccination is the top leader in terms of exit in terms of a countermeasures, but the, all these measures should be uh, should be promoted as well. The governments and the municipalities uh, have been exerting all out efforts and now in a state of emergency. We have been asking cooperation of the people and the governments in many uh, formats have been providing a financial assistance and uh, I think we are now in an important timing to the people of Japan, to general public. What we ask is like what I've said, conducting tests and uh, using QR calls, fully utilize the science and technology, and more than ever, the central governments and the municipality take a leadership and uh, request uh, these supports and the cooperation of the people. So even more powerful commitment and the leadership of the government is what we need right now. From the foreign media, Ms. Nishimura from Radio France, um, I ask, uh, can I ask your reporters not to ask questions on your seat? This is Mishimura from Radio France. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Suga? Prime Minister Suga, over and over again, the safe and security Olympic Games uh, will be held in Tokyo without vaccination. But it was impossible without vaccination. But with vaccination in place, it's impossible for the government to secure 100% safety even with vaccinations to athletes and the big stakeholders are going to participate in those games at their own responsibility. It's hard to understand where they are. Hotels are not the separated facilities. It's quite difficult for us to have complete measures and to control the activities on the participants using the GPS. But smartphones, location information, they are different from people's activities. Experts are saying that countermeasures against the COVID-19 infection are imperfect. 
there are risks on in infection the expansion, there are risks for the death of people. But Prime Minister, do you, do you think that, that there are no worries about having Tokyo Olympic Paralympic Games, even there are those risks? You cannot say no uh, to those games. Is it because of your, of your pride? Or do you pay attention to economic reasons behind um, the games? Um, what you said is not true. I, have, I don't think about the economy, the implied. It's not important. People coming to Japan can be protected with the countermeasures against infection. The athletes and all the stakeholders uh, will be vaccinated, and they come to Japan. Before they come to Japan, they go through two PCR tests on their entry and on the third day. The athletes have to take tests every day. We have very uh, strict countermeasures in place. That's first thing. The journalists and media people. Media people will be asked to stay at the booked hotels or accommodations. Then the organizing, organizing committee has staff members to take care of those press people. When press people move here and there in Japan, they will move in cars and vehicles. The drivers of those vehicles are vaccinated and so that they don't have any worries about the health. And they place um, plastic uh, panels there is a separation between the driver's seat and passenger's seats. If people do not follow those instructions, they will be asked to leave Japan. Those measures will be put in place. The risks for people coming other parts of coming from other parts of Japan, other part of the world to Japan are quite low indeed, I believe. TV Tokyo Shinohara. I have a question to Prime Minister and Dr. Omi. In a party leader discussion, by November, for all uh, who wants to be vaccinated should be vaccinated. And at that time, do you consider that uh, uh, Japan will have a hard, hard immunity? And uh, in overseas, we started to see the uh, the media report, uh, people started to have a life without the mask. And uh, what do you think? Uh, will it uh, be applied in Japan? Starting with myself, for vaccines, it prevents an onset of a symptom or prevent an aggravation. Uh, this is a trump card for the infection countermeasures. On the other hand, for the effectiveness of a prevention of an infection, uh, that transmission, it is not clearly identified, uh, but that there are some evaluation made. Currently, the government is uh, putting an all-out effort for vaccines in a recent one week for seven days, 7.3 million vaccines in a day, one million, more than one million doses. So it is clearly increasing. And up until yesterday, 27 million exceeded 27 million vaccines. Therefore, in a current situation, it will be higher than one million. And starting on the 21st, in the workplaces and the universities, the workplace vaccinations uh, will start, I believe, uh, your uh, workplace will also start. And 3,123 locations. And uh, cumulatively, 12.8 uh, 12, 12 million uh, are the population uh, to be vaccinated in our workplaces and universities. So starting on 21st, it will start in a full scale, including young people. For those who wants to be vaccinated, they will uh, get vaccines in July. In a, uh, we already exceeded 
one million per day. And when these new channels like a workplace vaccination is added, it will further increase the herd immunity. I think uh, uh, I think we haven't really discussed that with an expert, but uh, I hope that uh, it is getting close to that state. Dr. Omi, please. Your question is about herd immunity. What is the state? Uh, what is the definition of a herd immunity from the perspective of experts? I think this is interpreted like this. Natural, one person get naturally infected in a Europe, Western. Western countries, for example, many of many of people, uh, many people get infected in a, a natural environment, and uh, and also we have a group of people who have been vaccinated and uh, acquired the immunity. And the percentage, uh, we can't uh, put the concrete number, but so it is very much a ballpark in uh, some format. People acquire immunity, and as a result, wearing mask or without any precaution, people can have a normal daily life. That's what we call as herd immunity. In October and November, uh, with an effort of the government and the municipality, we see accelerated pace of uh, vaccinations. I don't know how many people will be vaccinated eventually, but as I said, there will be three things. It will be less likely that the people get critically ill, and people's sense of safety uh, will be achieved. And even with the cluster infections, it is it becomes easier uh, to. Uh, protect people from the clusters or the infection. So in November in Japan, for example, uh, if you ask me, uh, will there be no more small clusters? I would say no. There will be some uh, small clusters here and there because especially young people, I guess young people will be less vaccinated than elders the vaccination ratio will be lower for young people. That's what I imagine. And the vaccine is an excellent, very potent vaccine, but uh, in a sporadic cases, there will be still an infection. It will not be uh, totally under control, but it will be, we will feel much safer. But the timing for us to let our guard off completely will be still ahead of us. So it will be more controllable. The UK, uh, the vaccination ratio is very high. But if the lockdown is lifted, the still the new infection cases go up. And the critically ill patients and the uh, uh, death toll uh, is being uh, staying low, but people's activity and behaviors and also the responses of uh, municipalities and government in a very short time, it can sharply increase so uh, the complete uh, lifting of an restriction will be should be managed mr stakubo from chugok shinbun please go ahead this is stakubo from chugok shinbun it's my pleasure asking a question mr prime minister can I ask a question then about the revision um, of the, the law then the ldp project team is trying to enact the law in the next ordinary die session and the, what's your view on the enactment review of the law as the president of LDP? Then Kawai Katsuyuki, Kawai Anri, 
and they were involved in the large scale the scandals, bribery cases, and it was a trigger. Then Chu uh, Gokshin asked a question in the political um, the fund of 150 million. Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Abe, then LDP Secretary General the Nikai, and as a president of uh, LDP, then I going to uh, seek after the responsibility of Prime Minister, former Prime Minister uh, Abe. Then your response was not uh, the complete and coming to uh, us. And can I ask a question whether or not uh, Mr. Suga is going to seek for the responsibility of explanation from former Prime Minister Abe? On the political funds of the Diet members, it has close connection with the, the freedom of political activities. And each political parties and Diet groups and have its own ideas to go through a discussion on that topic. I am the president of UDP, then let me state my opinion as such. I'd like to encourage the, the, the proceeding discussions within the party uh, my party on that matter. As was said, uh, as was mentioned the other day, the detailed information about the funds um, that went to Mr. and Mrs. Kawaii. And documents have been seized by the public prosecutor's office, and if those documents are returned, then public um, CPA will carry out audit then he or she is going to have complete investigation on the documents which are seized by the public prosecutors. And my question is that I am going to ask for the responsibility or explanation for, for the former Prime Minister um, Abe. It, the, it is true that it happened in the relationship between the LDP President and the LDP Secretary General. I think that's true. Jinbo san from video news, please. Video news, I'm Jinbo. I have a question to Prime Minister. The US China relationship are still in tension, and uh, the role of Japan in relation with the US China uh, relation. Some experts say military conflict may occur at any point. So that means just in front of Japan, those conflict may occur and uh, Japan may need to sustain some damage. And uh, looking at the G7 summit and uh, looking at the bilateral summit, Japan and the US, for ease attention, the initiative that Japan can take to ease attention that is not clearly visible. Uh, Japan is uh, one of the stakeholders, but uh, uh, we haven't really seen that Japan playing such role. And is it really OK that Japan just um, uh, follow the US and for the peaceful resolution as a state? Is there anything we can do as Japan? And what can we do as Japan? And if there is anything we can do as Japan, do you have a determination to put into action? And this is something that I really want to confirm. If the Olympic and Paralympic Games are delivered, uh, is it going to be delivered uh, with your responsibility as a prime minister? So because the games being held in Japan is it uh, being held under responsibility of Prime Minister? For Olympic Games, Tokyo TMG and organizing committee and uh, central government, IOC and IPC, those five parties. We discuss and coordinate. The final decision is made by IOC. It lies with IOC. But for the life and health of Japanese people, protecting life and health of Japanese people, that is my task. So I uh, take my responsibility to protect 
people's life and health. And Japan-U.S. alliance for Japan, uh, U.S. is the single ally for Japan. For China, is a neighboring country and also a power, powerful state. And not just in Asia, but to globally, Japan and China can play a significant role. Therefore, in Japan-U.S. summit, the communications, uh, we make sure that uh, we clearly and adequately communicate and also share information uh, from Japan side and also from a U.S. side. We make sure we will do that. And I think that's very important that we articulate it. And in the summit, recent summit meeting, we have guaranteed that in the international community, the universal values of the international community, freedom, democracy, and human rights and the rule of law. In any country, it needs to be guaranteed and granted. That's what I think. G7 should concretely act on those principles and values. In a recent G7 summit, that was an agreement we achieved for Japan. China is a neighbor. It is very important for us. China is very important for us. And the stable relationship should be built uh, between Japan and China. But what we need to say is uh, what we need to assert, uh, we will assert, that is also very important for the global uh, perspective. Thank you. I'm sorry that there are two questions to go. TV Asahi, Mr. Yoshino, please go ahead. This is Yoshino from TV Asahi. Uh, just now, uh, you respond to a question from uh, from a coordinator. The, you said you government is going to produce frictions on people's uh, the movement after the state of emergency and priority measures against COVID-19. There'll be the summer vacation coming in August, and then what's your idea on the peoples and uh, will enjoy the leisure activities and the enjoy vacations and the, during the summer vacation then take travels and the, what's your idea on that? We have to pay attention to infections and the strains on medical system in Japan. I think we're going to I, I'm going to make a judgment by picking uh, the brains of experts washing the hands, then avoiding three Cs, and those basic uh, countermeasures uh, must be uh, observed. And when people talk to each other, they should or they're asked to wear masks. Those, um, we have to carry out, or implement those ABCs uh, for the prevention of COVID-19 infection. Um, I am not sure what is going to happen, what the situation will be like during the summer vacation, then I think we're going to take countermeasures and, uh, depending on the situations. If need be, the government um, may consider taking out state of emergency and priority measures if those measures are necessary. Then when time comes, then we can have a better idea what we have to do. Iwakami-san, freelancer, please. Internet uh, ally media, I am Iwakami. Regarding G7 summit, G7 summit, I also have a question on G7 summit. Prime Minister said that uh, there was a unity uh, among democratic nations at the G7, but uh, immediately before that, on June 7th, uh, President Macron talked about Indo-Pacific strategy. Uh, France uh, will not align, will not be aligned uh, with the U.S. on Indo-Pacific strategy, and the President Biden. 
uh, is uh, taking more uh, coercive stance uh, versus China, but uh, France is uh, taking a bit of a distance. That's what the, uh, Mr. Macron stated. The President Macron's statement was uh, broadcasted only through Sankei in Japan. I have a question in a summit meeting regarding the counter China measures. Was there really an agreement reached for Taiwan emergency? It is mentioned. But it is carefully avoiding to name China clearly. So there were some compromise. I believe uh, that's what have happened at the G7. That's my imagination. Suga administration has approved uh, important land use Re regulation act. Uh, it is trying to uh, bolster the power of the administration. It is uh, taking a preemptive action toward the emergency clause. Uh, why is the government in haste uh, to establish the wartime uh, type of structure? There is not enough explanation or consensus among Japanese people. If there is going to be an autocracy in Japan, the universal value uh, based uh, democracy, uh, Japan will be out of those universal based democracy. In order to protect the hegemony of the US, Japan holds the nuclear facility and uh, taking a direction toward war, it needs to be preven prevented. There is a path uh, that Japan should explore uh, to take uh, enough distance and enough uh, uh, safe uh, safety uh, from those frictions. What is your take on that? As the uh, I participated in a G7 country uh, with a sovereign nation, the value of the democracy among G7 uh, with all states it has been it was discussed regarding the president macron i had an individual meeting the we are not building the uh, the network uh, to contain China. The states sharing the universal value is very important. And we have uh, built a consensus uh, to be perfectly aligned. And regarding a land use, uh, you talked about the autocracy, but in international society, this is what we need as a state. That's why uh, we submit the bill. And it was deliberated at the Diet, and it was approved. It is very democratic manner. It was, uh, it was approved. And uh, we, as a country, we need to protect the country. It is uh, very reasonable as the independent state. Thank you very much. For those who are raising hands, I am sorry. Uh, please send your question, one question, via email, and uh, later it will be responded uh, with the Prime Minister's answers, and uh, it will be posted on the website. Thank you very much for your understanding and cooperation. With that, we conclude the Prime Minister's press conference. Thank you very much.